Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mark from Spantacular.com, and today we're doing a quick hands on with the Arcos 9 PC tablet. Now, for those who don't know, uh, this device is running Windows 7 Starter Edition, and it uh, it's powered by a 1.2 gigahertz Intel Atom processor. It's got a gig of RAM on board, and uh, I'm just going to give you a quick little physical tour and a few thoughts about the device. So it's a 9-inch touch input display. Uh, let's see, USB 2.0. There's no mini or micro ports there. Standard. 3.5 audio jack so you can listen with any type of headphones you can get your hand on be them be be it high end low end doesn't matter um, also you've got your kickstand here so if you want to stand it upright watch videos or if you want to tilt it in and kind of lay it down for typing you got that there the device also features a removable battery so in the event that you have a defective battery you can replace the battery and not have to send the unit in so that's a plus there's also a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera for video chats such as Skype video call uh, Google video chat and just pretty much anything else out there that supports video chat and works with the Windows machine so let's talk about what we liked first of all uh, key thing that we did like was the fact that this was a Windows device meaning anything that has a Windows driver and it's within the hardware uh, range it's gonna work with this so for example I don't know if you caught that when I held it up, but this is Hulu running through Firefox. And as you can see, works just fine. I mean, there's no apps, there's no gimmicks of a marketplace or anything like that. I'm not trying to say apps are so much gimmicky, but they felt kind of gimmicky after having time with this device because, hey, if you need it, you install it and it works so that that was a relief um, I've watched Netflix through instant stream on here and worked just fine all I had to do was install Silverlight um, and it, it was just a relief I mean the camera I said is 1.3 if you don't like that and you're considering this device guess what if you have a webcam you can plug it up it's gonna work because there's a driver for it so I mean, that, that's something to consider. This is the 60 gigabyte model. It's priced at uh, about 550 bucks or less, depending where you do your shopping at. And I mean, those, those are the plus sides. So uh, as far as what we didn't care for, battery life could be a little bit better. Tether this thing through a Wi-Fi connection. And after about four and a half hours, battery is almost done. Wish I had a little bit more time uh, in, the, in regards to the battery, but nothing's perfect. Uh, the device is designed, some like it, some don't. I think it's okay. I mean, it feels all right in, in your hands, but it does take some getting used to. Uh, it's not too thick, but it's not, it's not Mr. Slim either. So, I mean, those are our thoughts. If you have any questions about the device, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to try and help. Uh, this hands-on was more so so you can get a look and feel for the device. If you want to read our full in-depth review, uh, I'll go ahead and add that to the description. So with that said, this is Mark, Senior Editor of Spantacular.com, and we appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by.